And so just on behalf of the city, I put together a couple quick proclamations for you, just a small token of our appreciation. I want to acknowledge Lisa Perrazzo, President of the City Council, who's also here with us tonight. Jim, for you, first uh, proclamation from the mayor, whereas James Shaw was born in 1924 in his family home on Beter Avenue, and his family moved to Schenectady's Goose Hill, the corner of Van Branken and Gerling Street, by his grandfather, who lived on Van Branken Avenue. James attended Yates Elementary School, Oneida Junior High, and Knott Terrace High School, where he graduated in 1942. And whereas James entered World War II on Thanksgiving in 1943, where he was a technical sergeant, a radio operator, and a gunner in a B-24 from 1944 to 1945, in a 9BS-7BG and 10AF, the technical terms, stationed in India, he flew missions to China, Burma, Thailand, and over the hump. And whereas James returned home, to his north side after service and married Ellis Hospital nurse cadet uh, Betty McShane on June 8, 1947. In their early married life, they lived on Swan Street, but moved back to the north side in 1954, purchasing their current home on Avenue B. They have three daughters who all live on Avenue B. Whereas Jane joined the New York National Guard and served until the late 1970s, where he retired as a Brigadier General. Now, therefore, I, Gary McCarthy, Mayor of the City of Schenectady, do hereby proclaim this day as James Shaw Day in the City of Schenectady, a day to recognize your selfless contributions to the City of Schenectady. But part also for you, uh, whereas Art Smith was born December 9, 1925, in Goose Hill section of Schenectady, and he attended Franklin School, Oneida Middle School, and the Vicentian Institute in Albany. Art is an Army veteran who served in the Second Armored Division, Hell on Wheels, as it was more commonly referred to, from 1944 to 1946, and took part in the Battle of the Bulge. During this time, he was involved in the European Theater of War. He worked at Alco Locomotive after returning from service in uh, before he went off to college. Art graduated from St. Mary's University in Winona, Minnesota, where he played college football and baseball. And whereas Art taught at uh, LaSalle High School in Chicago, Illinois, and he was also their football and baseball coach. Art moved back to Schenectady in 1955 and went on to teach at Oneida Middle School from 1955 to 1956. And whereas Art was the head football coach for uh, champion Pop, Pop Warner uh, Indians for 10 years, he volunteered at Ellis Hospital for 15 years, did two terms as a board member at Vail Cemetery, and worked as a volunteer for Catholic Charities, and was the original lector and Eucharistic minister at St. Mary's Church for 35 years. And Art is a member of uh, St. Anthony's Parish today. And whereas, Art went into private industry and worked for Asphalt Stone Products, located on Maxon Road, where he served as vice president for all five of their corporations. And whereas, Art retired from the City of Schenectady Engineering Department, where he held the title as assistant to the center, city engineer. And now, there, uh, now, therefore, I, Gary McCarthy, mayor of the City of Schenectady, do hereby proclaim this day as Art Smith Day in the City of Schenectady, a day to recognize, again, your selfless contributions to the city of Schenectady and really the global influence that you gentlemen have touched. I got a little help from uh, some of your friends here in the audience putting these together. Really, gentlemen, thank you very much. You really have great stories. Thank you. Camille, thank you and the uh, uh, team and Dave Bout for putting this together. Because we, a lot of times, we, you know, we look at whatever happens today, but we forget sometimes the history and the great things that happened here in this community. I'm sorry I mentioned about sidewalks now. <laughs>